Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Rob. Today we have a kind of a special one for you. We have the uh, Char Griller Acorn Auto Kamado here, and then we have the Char Griller Acorn Regular Kamado right here. And some people have been asking me, what happens if the power goes out, you know, when, when you're cooking on this guy? Can you continue to just use the top vent here and, you know, go through and, and keep the fire going? And I, I actually did try that. Uh, unfortunately, because the, the fan flap, there's zero air coming in from the bottom. So while it'll stay hot longer than if you close it, it does slowly, slowly come down. You might be able to finish a cook though. Um, but people have been using uh, electrified grills for a while now with the, um, uh, the pellet grills and then the gravity grills and then now this. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about that, but what we're gonna find out today is if you have a regular acorn, is that ash pan gonna fit on there? Making this a regular acorn if the fire goes out. So we're gonna try that today, but we're not gonna just try that. We're gonna, we're gonna make a cook too. I got some uh, beef short ribs here. We're gonna use um, Uncle Steve's shake. These were kind of expensive. They were uh, $9.99 a pound. Is that too much? So 20 bucks for almost two pounds. Yeah, we're gonna use Uncle Steve's thick meat. But right now, let's get this guy started. We're gonna pretend like we have power right now. Well, we have power right now, but in a little bit, we're gonna pretend like we lost power and then we'll see what happens. For a real cook, that way we can see for real, long term, how's it gonna go. All right, let's get this guy lit. Now I've already added some charcoal in the bottom here. I'm just gonna take a uh, tumbleweed, light him up. We'll give him about five minutes. All right, well that's come up to temp. Let's go ahead and uh, get these opened up and seize them. All right, Stormy, I hear you. I'm not gonna use a binder on these today. I'm just having fun. Just having fun, doing what we do. Not doing any trimming, nothing. I hear you, it's not chicken. Love the short ribs. All right, that's probably fine. You can see, I know we didn't get really get a close up and it's, I'm in the shade here, funny. But, all right, I'm gonna put these, uh, I'm gonna cover these up so the uh, flies or something don't get them while we're waiting for that. But yeah, we'll be right back. All right, it's been about five minutes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this heat deflector today because we're going low and slow. And this is a metal heat deflector, different than the smoking stone you've seen on the regular acorn. Uh, you can see it's more of a triangle shape, not a, more of a circle. Uh, I'm not sure if they did that on purpose. You have the, uh, the heat sensor here. So when this is in here, it gives some room for that heat sensor to pick up what's going on. I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna put it on the grate. I'm gonna shut the lid. I like to have this all the way open when I first shut it. Next thing I'm gonna do is open up the fan flap right there. Turn it on. I wanna set it for, uh, let's go 250. All right, it's telling me to put the damper on D1. So I'll put it at the one position. And here we go, right now it's about 80 degrees in there. This fan's gonna kick that up and uh, stop it right about 225, we'll see you then. All 
All right, we've hit 250 on this guy. Let's go ahead and uh, pop these guys on. I'm gonna hit the power button real quick once. That'll put the fan on hold. Yeah, I'll put these guys on, uh, I don't know, doesn't really matter. <laughs> like that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and probe the fat guy in here, which is probably this one. So we can keep an eye on things. Yeah. So we'll let this run maybe an hour, hour and a half or so, see where we're at. And then uh, we'll pretend like the power went out. So let me hit that fan button again. We're back on the road. So we'll see you in a bit. All right guys, it's been about an hour. I understand the lighting could be better. Uh, it's about nine in the morning and uh, it's still shady here, but sunny out there. So I'm gonna be a little dark. Apologize for that. Uh, it's been about an hour so far. Um, I have a meeting in about 15 minutes. So I'm not gonna do the, uh, the swap out yet, um, but I do wanna spray them with a little beef broth and also take a look at them, see how they're doing. Oh, they're looking good so far. Spray them with a little beef broth. I guess we could have cut some of the fat off of him, but we'll do that later. All right, we'll let this sit till after my meeting and we'll check on it then. All right guys, these have been on for about two hours. We're sticking at it right around 250. Um, yeah, you guys ready for a power outage? You know what, first, let's take a look at these guys and see how they're looking. All right, so I just cut the power. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. So now, let's see if this ash pan on here will fit there. Oh, I should probably latch this, huh? All right, we're gonna keep this uh, down low a little bit. I just closed it off to about 0.5. When you're doing this, and I don't recommend doing this, it's gonna be super hot coals uh, that might come out at you. So remember there is that hanger. Spin it a little bit, drop it down. We do have a little bit of stuff going on in there. Not too much. If you have a lot, you know, you're gonna dump it into a, a metal pan. Quickly, grab your other one. Always clean out your ash pan after you use it. Moment of truth. Well, folks. Looks like it fits to me. Now the only issue is there's no uh, thermometer on here. So, you know what, I'm gonna shut this a little bit again. Shut this down a little bit. We just shot a lot of air into there. Let me get a digital display. So with this, we'll be able to see what the temp is on the grates, as well as the, um, the probe for the meat. And we're gonna only have this open as short a time as possible. 
stick that right there. I'm gonna take this out. It's gonna be hot. Hot! Get our probe from our ink bird. All right, these look amazing. Shut it down. Uh, I think I still have, no, I'm good. All right, so right now we're reading, it's coming up, but it says 180, 180, uh, 186. It should come right back to where it was around 250, but we'll see. And then I'm just gonna use the vents to, uh, to adjust it. Bring it back to 250. Not gonna make you watch all of that. I'll get it dialed in and uh, tell you a story in a little bit here. Hey guys. So it's only been a few minutes. Uh, we settled in at about 264. You can see that. So this is the, uh, reason the ink bird um, guy. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I have it, I have this shut down almost at zero and I have the bottom almost closed off all the way. I'm just going to try to choke it a tiny bit just to get that temp down a little bit. I really don't care if it's a 260, but, um, yeah, I want to just kind of bring it back down to that 250 mark. So I'll just keep playing with these events until we get there. Uh, yeah, but the good thing about these, uh, Kamados is that, you know, with the, uh, with the manual dampers, you really can set it in pretty well. Um, things like temperature outside and if it's uh, like super windy or, or something like that where more air can, can get shoved in there, shoved in there, shoved in there, whatever that word might be, shoved in there, then, um, you know, you, you want to be around so you can adjust the dampers and things. Uh, but with the auto, if it sees it's starting to rise, it's going to, you know, stop that fan and, and put that flapper over it and kind of decrease the air coming in from the bottom. Um, so yeah, uh, so next time if I need to do this, if the power goes out, before removing the, uh, the ash pan on this guy, I want to have the other ash pan ready to go. Because um, as you can see, you got so much air with that ash pan gone uh, that it just it crept up about 10, 10, 12 degrees. So uh, yeah. Hey, video's not over. We're not, we're not done with the short ribs yet. Uh, they're, they're about 178, I think it said. We're gonna bring those up to at least 200, probe them, see how they're doing, and uh, go from there. But yeah, we'll, this, we'll just run it like this for the rest of the cook. The other thing I did was I, I closed the fan uh, flap door. Words, Rob, words. Yeah, keep this going, and uh, next time we'll be back, it'll be around 200 degrees on the short ribs. We'll let them rest for 10, 15 minutes, let them cool down, and then we'll take a bite. Hey guys, we just hit about 201 on the short ribs. Uh, the uh, acorn's sitting at about 253. Everything's going according to plan. So anyway, let's take a look at these guys. Uh, we'll probe them, see how nice they are. And uh, if they're good, we'll pull them off. They're looking nice. It is super windy out. Uh, they're, they're probing all right. I'm going to let them go a little bit longer, though. Well, that probes right straight through the fat. Yeah, this one's reading uh, about 190. One ninety four, going up to one ninety five. Let's keep them going a little while. I'll just pull you in next time uh, I check them and and see that they're good to go. Oh, look at them! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. And right, we're uh, officially at about two oh five. So it's still going up, 206 maybe. Yeah, let's pull these off. Boop.
Ho ho. Hang on there, buddy. All right, shutting everything down. Let this go off on its own. Uh, now, somebody had asked me in a comment last night on a different video for this same cooker uh, how much charcoal I would go through. Um, and if, if you saw the amount of charcoal we started with today, I would think that would easily go uh, 10 hours or so. Uh, I'm using a Jealous Devil Lump. Um, I haven't used anything else in a long time. I used to be sponsored by them. Then they drop me, but I still buy it. I, I still think it's the best charcoal out there. Uh, anyway, I'm going to um, cover these up for about 10 minutes and then we'll bite into them. Let's we'll see how they taste. All right, guys, we are done. These have been resting for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I started editing the video, so anyway. Good enough to eat. All right, so we did these at 250 for approximately four, four and a half hours. Coated them with uh, Uncle Steve's uh, thick meat. And I'm ready. We're just gonna take one quick bite. This one. Give you one more quick look at it here. Look at the color. You gotta take another bite. Man, it's so good. I'll show you the color one more time. We didn't even use any wood. Actually, no, that might be a lie. There might have been some uh, pecan in there. But yeah, that, that charcoal gave a nice color to it. All right, one more tiny bite. All right, I'm gonna go eat these. But yeah, the uh, pan swap worked. Again, be very careful if you're ever gonna do that. That pan's gonna be super hot on the bottom especially if you're cooking up at like 350, 400 or something. So make sure you got good thick gloves. Make sure you get the power off. Um, well, the power's gonna be off anyway if you're doing it, right? Just be very careful. Take care of the ashes that are in there. Put them in a metal pan or something. Um, yeah, it's really good to know that that works. But the only reason I'm gonna do it is if the power goes out and I need to finish a cook and I still have some time left on it. But yeah. Great suggestion from uh, some of our, our viewers uh, that I saw asked yesterday. And uh, hopefully you learned something about some beef short ribs. So go to your store, buy them, do them, get this grill, try it out. Let me know what you think. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Comments below.